It's a beautiful Saturday morning, but we spend it on a coach, coach ride to Prague, which is fine. It's gonna be nice. I'm a bit tired though. Haven't slept much the whole week. Got a drone and had to install it and look up all the regulations. I think Bia already said that she's gonna sleep like a bear on the coach. But I got my iPad packed with movies and TV shows. And I got a Kindle. I'm gonna use the time. Bye bye Thor. to find our hotel which is in a street called Sinkulova and Pia you told me that means something in Spanish what does it mean without a female butt first bummer uh, the mobile internet is down even though I was so happy that we had a free EU roaming now and it doesn't work now crisis we made it and we've got Internet again, crisis averted. When you're in Prague, it looks like you have to take a picture there. I think this is the third time I'm in Prague. And the first two times I can't really remember it too well. We went partying with the guys, slept in a hostel, and in a cheap hotel the other time. This time it's going to be different. Bea's got the plan. We're gonna see a lot of stuff if we don't get lost, which might happen. City Council, the Rat House, where lots of people are waiting to see the figurines dancing every full o'clock. Lots of people. Seriously. This must be amazing. was it I was holding the camera like for a minute after the figures disappeared because I thought it can't be it usually you know that's what happens when I go to football matches of FC Nuremberg it's also like this what the fuck did I just see feeling no surprises you'd expect me to go in there so I go in there Well, I'm gonna pick her up somewhere in Prague now. My girl, she's over there. Over there. 
she doesn't see me. She looks worried. She looks worried. Oh. Hello! There you are! So the sun's gone completely. It's getting a bit chilly. As you can see, the Spanish girl. <laughs> She's <laughs> wrapping up herself. Winter is coming. There's so many people taking photos here. This must be like photo heaven. And and Bea just noticed the drunk German guys. And yes, actually at uh, was it 3 p.m. 3 p.m. this afternoon, I've noticed for the third time I met a stack night group. And yeah, one of them was so drunk, so drunk. They just carried him through the streets. If anyone knows how to pronounce Tradelnik, let me know in the comments. No, actually, that doesn't make sense. No Tradelnik there. Not ready yet. She said it in a really nice voice, like, not ready, not ready. Look, Bea. Iniesta. Hello. They've got sauerkraut. It's Iniesta sauerkraut. Curry sausage. Come on, I want to try a curry sausage from Iniesta. <laughs> Iniesta lost. I want to try out that goulash again that we had a few years ago. It was somewhere around here. I can't remember where it was. Well, I think I found it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I did. Is this bad? It was behind this wooden door, right? Ah, uh, I've lost uh, the Kafka. Uh, uh oh, there's a cafe. Mayday. Mayday. There's a giant Kafka head. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, Penis. Penis. I have the memory of an elephant. I remember that we had very good goulash here. Oh, I see. Spanish girls freezing. <laughs> okay, we need to go inside somewhere. <laughs> Look at her jumping. <laughs> Back at the hotel and we've got a very special beer here. Beer, beer. How do you pronounce that in Spanish? Urkin? <laughs> How? <Steve>. Urkin. <laughs> like Steve Urkel. Yeah, Steve Urkel. Beer. <laughs> the <laughs> family from Steve Urkel. No, it's a Pilsener Urkel. Say Urkel? Urkel? 